In this video, I'm introducing the operating model provided in the LBO case study for Baby Burgers LLC, known by the project name Bin Bersnacki. Per the introduction, what I'm excited about is the level of detail available in this model. While all of the visuals and summary financials display data in annual periods, the operating model itself is a monthly three-statement model with supporting schedules that allow you to get very granular. This will make the case study useful to individuals with more advanced skill sets. If a simple annual LBO does not strike you as much of a challenge, you can build this on a monthly basis using all of the detail available in the supporting schedules instead. As an example, revenue is the product of unit volume and price. So you can project the future using this data. Below that, labor provides a schedule of every employee hired and their base salary. Rather than project this line item as a percentage of revenue, you could decide to work with this data on a more granular level. You could, for example, manipulate this schedule to include raises for inflation or assumed employee performance. On the balance sheet, you will notice that the company did not have a balance for some working capital accounts until the business was more established, which is why we've provided so much history. This is to highlight that a small business is unlikely to secure terms from vendors or suppliers. Likewise, as the business scales, you could make different assumptions about working capital and articulate how these will benefit the company moving forward. Even the property plant and equipment schedules more detail than you might otherwise encounter in a case study, with each equipment purchase listed individually. Again, the objective is not to require that you work with all of this information, but to make you aware of it, and to get you to think through how to adapt it for your purposes. It might help to realize that labor cannot always grow smoothly as a percentage of revenue when a business is small. As the business scales, a single important hire may represent a real jump in expenses that's not immediately offset by revenue. Overall, the objective was to create a model that allows you to visualize how a business scales from startup to a more established business and to provide enough data for detailed modeling exercises as your skill set improves. That said, don't let it overwhelm you. If you're new to this process, start with the summary financials for your initial LBO model. The rest will come with time. All right, team, that's all for now. Thanks for watching.